between these companies, my name is Rodrigo Barbosa. I'm an operator of the Brazilian community, uh, PBS. We work at NEST, São Paulo State University. It's my first time in the world. <laughs> it's my first time in speaking English. We want to ask you to be patient.
it's happening. The problem in the European village between Institute of Arts and University happened to the rate of the work. The work is the problem. Now, College of Ingenuity of Industrial Theory. In interior state of Sao Paulo. How we can begin in Industrial Theory? In order to solve a problem with the adjustment software installation, support and maintenance of the computers of the administration the faculty of engineering in the software, the informatic local committee, advisor the board of the unit, approved in August 2006, the project implementation of the free software in the administration of the campus in the Sultira, together with the direction club. <laughs> with the support of the leadership in February 2007, gave up early dissemination of the project along the community. The VROPC.org, Firefox, and Thunderbird so chosen to start the migration, migration process because perfectly replaced OPSI tools that were used Microsoft Jobs, Internet Explorer, and Outlook are multi-platform programs Initially, the proposal was the train the server of each section so that good players were aware of the problems they were using. In 
February 2007, we began to install the package of the pre software Mozilla Firefox, Thunderbird, VROPC.org in Windows without involving the Microsoft Office Suite. The idea was that the servers for the time to adjust to VROPC.org because later MS Office would be uninstalled. Sometime later, uh, we did not sign it that something was not right. New players were not multiplying knowledge with their colors. That's wrong. Then, there was change in the strategy. Training would have to be with all employees. In 2009, uh, it started the creation of the operation system. 95% uh, of the computers of the packet uh, using uh, Linux. Technical support reducing exponential. The calls were for installing printers, the cover of the group, the file system, automatic updates, upgrades, and support in the use of Libras. Thunderbird to be boxed through with it. Um, we had no more problems with the infection for virus, trojans, of worms. You will use remote support tools providing faster servers to users. In 2010, was provided a piece to evaluate what the users were thinking about migration. Since when police responded, to survey, 60% say they were satisfied with the migration to this software, and 20% were dissatisfied. 10% say they wanted to go back to Windows. Of course, because migration, uh, this option was a joke because recreation was not going back. Some conclusions. Uh, what was the reason for 30% of employees are dissatisfied? We not cite that during the migration, migration process, New hires happened and they had not received the training in pre software products. Initiating immediate the action, offering training in LibreOps and in new lines for everyone. Other reviews were conducted sometimes after the training had a significant increase in satisfaction of the users. The process of migration to free software is continuous and the objective is to expand to all sectors within the college. Finally, uh, successful experience. But to speak about 
results of this experience. I call Douglas Diaz. I will talk in Portuguese. Okay. So, what result of this experience? Um, this experience turned uh, part of an institutional development plan. This institutional development plan is a gathering institution development for the next years. So, this action uh, was to conduct migration projects to free and open source software in universities.
some policies was defined. The ordinance number 383, 2012, defined that all PCs, all desktop computers acquired by university have been compatible with first free software. This ordinance number 383 defined the ODF format as official format to be used in university. This is to turn ODF adoption to reality and support our cause. This ordinance uh, refer to uh, public tender. This ordinance correct the job skills for a public tender to replace the knowledge on Microsoft tools to LibreOffice and Mozilla tools as Firefox and Thunderbird. In 
2014 is here. We have two instructors, Valdir and me. We conduct the training in 15 cities. 18 university units. We train approximately 160,000. No, what? Yes. 1,600 employees. So now we have almost 4,000 installations. To train all employees from the university, we are estimated um, approximately two hundred fifty and thousand dollars approximately. This is allowance only to pay hotel and travel of instructors because we are employees from the university. These costs are only to pay our travel, hotel and fees. training actually starting this month.
2018 or wealth migration. Jonas had a long time experience with free software in infrastructure, but we have we have eight five percent of our servers in infrastructure using free BSD and Linux. participate our meeting in Brazil. Then <laughs> see them that's out of the September. Okay? <laughs> Thank you so much.
The, uh, um, Brazil, Brazil has adopted the ODA format, right? Yes. Yes. And and did you did you start your training before Brazil adopted the ODA, or did you start no ODA? Did you see that uh, people were more interested now in adopting it, or you know? Things that people don't uh, understand what happened. And uh, change to resist, uh, resistance to change is uh, a great problem. The people use Microsoft Office since uh, 1992. And this change is very difficult. Thank you so much.